Hi, welcome back to MBA Solutions. I am Sravan, Assistant Professor, VVC, MBA Department, Mysuru. If you are not subscribed to our channel, please press subscribe button and bell icon for notification. Today, in this video, we are going to discuss and learn first the meaning of interest arbitrage. Secondly, the different types of interest arbitrage. First, let us understand the meaning or definition of arbitration. Arbitration is a process of taking the advantage of price difference for the same goods. Say for an example, for product X, if it is quoted at 70 rupees in one market and if it is quoting at 71 in another market, taking the advantage of the price difference whether the price difference is there or not of 1 rupee for the same product. This taking the advantage of price difference for the same goods is called as arbitrage. Now we will move on to the interest arbitrage. The same applies here. Whenever there is a difference in the interest rate of two country, why the interest rate differs? It's all because of their current economic cycle. If that particular nation economy is booming means obviously interest rate is more. If the economy is in recession means obviously interest rate will be low. So whatever the difference of the interest of the two countries taking the advantage of it is the interest arbitrage. Say for an example, in US, the interest rate is 8%. In India, it is 6%. Now, whether the interest rate difference is there or not, taking that advantage of the interest is called as interest arbitrage. In simple, it refers to the international flow of short-term capital to earn higher return. Because if you want to invest in US means first you need to convert your rupees into dollar and then you need to invest in US. That means an international flow of money is there or not. This is what it is. Why you are investing over there? To earn higher returns. There are two types of interest arbitrage. First is the covered interest arbitrage. Secondly, it is uncovered interest arbitrage. Let us understand what is covered interest arbitrage. Here in this arbitrage, the investor utilizes the interest difference between the two countries. Say for an example, US has got 10% interest, whereas India has got 8%. Whether there is a difference of 2% or not, now the investors want to utilize this difference using forward contract to cover the exchange rate risk. That means what? Now, let us take an example and understand. An investor want to invest 70,000 rupees. Now, Per dollar in the spot market, it is 70 rupees. Now, if an investor, if he invests in India, how much he is going to get? 70,000 at the rate of 8% after one year, he is going to get 75,600. Now, for the same amount, if he invests in US, how much he is going to get? Now, if he wants to invest in US, he needs to get convert his rupees into dollar. Now, in the market for 70 rupees is 1 dollar. For 70,000, he is going to get 70,000 divided by 70. He is going to get 1,000 dollar. Now, invest in US. After one year, at the rate of 10%, he is going to get $1,100. But now, he wants to get convert 
this dollar into rupees. Now the question is whether the price is at 70 only. It may increase to 72 or it may decrease to 68. If it remains 70 only, he will get fantastic 77,000. If he invest in India, he is going to get 75,600. There is an additional amount of 1,400 that is making a profit. But the question is whether the dollar price remains at 70 only. No, it may fluctuate. For this purpose, what the investor do know, he will make a contract using forward contract at 70 rupees. This we call it as covered interest arbitrage. If he doesn't make any contract to cover the exchange rate risk, we call it as the uncovered interest arbitrage. In uncovered interest arbitrage also, investor try to utilize the interest difference. What is the interest difference between US and India? It is 2%. So, is 70,000, he will get convert into $1,000 because per dollar spot price is 70 rupees. If he invest this $1,000 at the rate of 10% for one year, he will get $1,100. But here the question is, can he able to convert this $1,000 at the rate of 70 only? No, because he has not taken any forward contract. Whatever the price prevailing at that particular point of time, for that only, he needs to be get exchange. If the price is at 70, Fantastic, he can exchange at 70, if it is 68 or if it is 72, for that itself only, he needs to get exchange. This is the only difference between the covered and the uncovered interest arbitrage. Thank you for watching this video. We will meet you once again. Until then, thank you.